Welcome to another training video from himpact.com. My name is Alina Miller and today I'm going to show you how to add a footer with a title and page number to a sample document using Word 2013. Once we are finished, the footer on the first page of the sample document will only include the page number. The footer on the remaining pages will include both the title and the page number. The file name we are using is Sample Footer Start. Alexandria VA City Council would like to have a week-long event called Project Appreciation to celebrate local civil servants. This document contains an overview of the project and related event information. We have been tasked with adding the footer to this document. Let's add a footer for the first page that only includes the page number. Click Insert. Click the footer drop-down. Select blank three columns. Ensure the different first page box is checked. Notice first page footer appears above the dotted line and the three column blank template displays for the first page. Click the type here field in the first column. Press delete. Click the type here field in the second column. Press delete. Now let's add the page number. Click the Type Here field in the third column. Under the Header and Footer Tools Design tab within the Insert group, click the Quick Parts drop-down. Select Field. The Field dialog box displays. From the Field Names, select Page. Ensure the Preserve Formatting During Updates box is checked. Click OK. Click the Next button in the Navigation group. For this page and the remaining pages, let's add a footer with the title and page number. Click Insert. Click the Footer drop-down. Select blank three columns. Click the Type Here field in the first column. Click the Quick Parts drop-down. Select the Document property. Click Title. Click the Type Here field in the second column. Press the Delete key. Now let's add the page number. Click the Type Here field in the third column. Under the Header and Footer Tools Design tab within the Insert group, click the Quick Parts drop-down. Select Field. The Field dialog box displays. Select the page from Field Names. Ensure the Preserve Formatting During Updates box is checked. Click OK. Finally, click the Close Header Footer. OK, so far it looks great. From here, let's scroll through the document to ensure the footer was added as expected. Notice the first page simply has the page number. The remaining pages have the title and page number. That's all of it. In summary, today we were able to add a footer to a Word 2013 document while ensuring the first page had a different footer than the remaining pages. We used the different first page option to accomplish this. Again, my name is Alina Miller. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this training tutorial from himpact.com.